It's over. I'm sorry, but it's over. Welcome to Trans Series, a show where we talk about everything Transformers. I'm Jason, and today we got some big news today. Some good, and some very, very bad. So according to Transformers World 2005, at an investor preview, Hasbro is now put a new team in place at Paramount to reset the Transformers films. And this will be following after the release date of the Bumblebee movie. Hasbro has removed TF6 from their movie lineup, so there's no Transformers live action movies listed for the foreseeable future. And now the agreement with Paramount gives Hasbro more control of the movie universe, greenlighting certain projects. So let's break this down. So if you do not know what an Investor preview is, is an event where people can invest in Hasbro. Now, Hasbro is going to be putting a new team in place to reboot the Transformers franchise, so most likely there will be a new story so we can scrap everything about the AllSpark. And remember how we saw the future lineup of films with the Transformers 6 logo? Well, that's gone. So now we're left with a cliffhanger apparently. And if the green light thing, it gives more power to Hasbro with the TF films. And we will not be seeing any live action films from now until sometime after 2021. Why did this happen? I think this happened because if you look at the movie franchise, it has a lot of plot holes and they kill off fan favorites like Ironhide and Starscream. Look what they did to Devastator. I am directly below. And then they screwed him. Look what they did to Skids and Mudflap. Look what they did to Blunderbot. <laughs> also in these movies, Megatron's a wuss, Prime's a murderer, and Noctis is also now a freaking knight. The Decepticons have no personalities and are just killed off in seconds. Who is to blame for this? Well, I think who's responsible for this is Michael Bay and the writers. Now for Michael Bay, he is the one who thinks you are laughing at his jokes like Devastators. <laughs> and the racism of Skids and Mudflap. But still, without him, we would not have the Transformers universe to be so popular. Now, the writers are hired to make a good script for the Transformers franchise, but we still get so many plot holes, and overall, critics do not like these films. And the money each film makes is sadly dropping, and I believe Paramount and Hasbro are making this reboot to give the Transformers films a better reputation. Pros. Well, the good news is all of our favorite characters are going to be coming back alive, and we will be able to get to see more of them, and we definitely need this with Shockwave and other characters like Jazz. Also, Michael Bay and the original writers are gone, characters most likely will be treated better and similar to their G1 counterparts, and better stories. Hopefully these films are going to be about the Transformers and not those pesky humans. Cons. Everything in the movie franchise has led up for is now ruined. Character designs may change, which means we have to buy new toys for our collections. Characters that were introduced in Transformers The Last Night may not be able to be seen in this new franchise, for a long time, like Hot Rod and Onslaught. We may not get to see any characters that were not from G1, like Nitro Zeus and Day Trader. How do I feel about this? Well, for me, I have mixed opinions. For the 10 years of the movies, I've grown attached to each movie and all the characters inside them. And now hearing that those movies may not even be canon anymore, it makes me pissed. I'm happy that we may see directors again, but the new writers may screw the purpose why I like them. I fear that they will convert everyone to G1, and what I mean by that is that Iron Eye may not have his canons, and the records won't be the same anymore. I just hope they will get input from the fans and not screw this up. Well, I hope you enjoyed my two cents on this topic. You guys should not get unhappy yet because they may stick with the original character designs and story and maybe they'll all just do is fix the plot holes. Well, that's all for this piece of news. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Trans Theories. If you have a theory you want me to cover, please give a comment down below and I will do a review on it as soon as possible. This has been Trans Theories, signing off. Well, your car was in this